Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We have a 64 Homebar mixer, H600. We have an 80 core L800. And which both mixers are similar uh, in certain areas, like for example, the planetary. We're gonna be servicing both planetaries of this unit. And today we're gonna show you how to service a six, 60 or 80 cores Hover Mixer Planetary on which the models are H600 and LA100. Both planetaries are the same, both uses the same bearings, same gears. So either way, the process is the same. For the LA-100 or the H-600, both units uses the same parts. Now on the P-660, the planetary is slightly different, bearings are larger, gear stay the same, what changes is the planetary design is much larger for the bearings. So. Pay attention to that if you ever come across a P660. The planetary is much uh, socket for the bearings are much larger than the H600 or the LA100. So these units are pretty bad shape. Planetaries are leaking. I don't know if you can see it. And we're gonna replace the bearings the o-ring, the cap, and leave it as a new planetary. This is the also the H600 and we're gonna be also servicing this planetary soon. In our next video we're gonna show you how to replace the glass, the oil level glass On our next video. Now we're gonna show you what we need to service this military. So we have here our O-ring, cap, key, seal. I love seal. This is an aftermarket one, which this works also. So this is the one that forward sells you. You can also find this one on aftermarket. Two bearings, which is a 6306 and 6207. Again, 6207, the bottom bearing, 6306. Top bearing. A good um, oil resisting gasket maker. We also need this. So, o ring, top, seals, bearings, new key. I always replace this the key for the gear. Now we're gonna process, we're gonna start the process of servicing this military. So here we have the planetary ready to start the process of taking it apart. I always remove the oil deflector. I also remove the oil pump just to protect it because this is a very expensive piece. You only need to remove two screws. It has four, but only two need to be loosened to get it out. Okay. 
you don't need to, you don't need to get all four loosened, only two, like so. This pump will be put in a safe place so we don't damage it. Next, we're gonna remove the cap, this cap, and remove the chaff. See what we find there. Now, the next step is to remove the snap ring that you see here with a small flat screwdriver you can get it out very easily and just like that the ring is out you can choose either to replace it or use the same one it's up to you This gear usually either comes out by hand. If it is really stuck, you will need probably an instructor to get it out. Sometimes you need to just yank it out with a screwdriver. And it will come out. Also, to do this job you would like to use gloves and that would be also a much cleaner job if you want to do that so this key this is the key and you can see it, it has some wear and tear so I always replace the key with a brand new one then comes the fun part you need to get the chaff out. To do that, I will proceed to my reliable scrap. Pieces that I have here. Something like this would do it. I will use something um, smaller than the dimensions of the chaff so I don't damage the outer edges of the chaff. So I can, can use and try to hit it right in the middle. So I'm not going to show you when I get it out because I cannot hold my phone and hit it at the same time. So I'll show it. I'll show you the chop once I, I have it out. And here it is. Here is the chop. It came out. Sometimes you will get the belly will come out at once with the seal. In this case, the seal it was too old. It broke on its way out. So next, we're gonna remove these screws. That didn't work, so I'll do the next easiest way to get it out, which is Again. 
Give me just a second. So here we have everything now taken apart. This is the O-ring that will be replaced. This is obviously these become bearings and are in really bad shape. They will be replaced. And this planetary will be entirely match with gasoline. I recommend to use gasoline to get to give it a pretty good cleanup. Um, I will also wash this chaff and then polish this section with the chaff because that's where the attachment attaches. So this needs to be clean. And basically that's the process of disassembling a 60 or 80 cores on which the models are H600 or L800 planetaries. So it's time that you will be getting oil drips into your doll and it's because these seals tends to break or span and then oil finds its way inside there. It also oil find its way through this cup so um, that's the main reason why you might get oil into your dough because this whole section here is uh, I mean the oil seal is not holding the, the oil anymore so the only way that it's gonna go is out and down so that's why you might see oil dripping from the shaft it will, this area will be really wet and that's how you can tell that there is a leaking and this surface needs to be done to correct that issue so I hope this video helps I have a planetary here that I already did the cleanup Never mind, this hasn't been cleaned up. I haven't, it's kind of damaged, so but yeah, this planetary hasn't been cleaned up yet. So I'll show you the end process once I have this planetary clean and ready to assemble again. So, in the meantime, this is how you do it, this is how you will put new bearings, new oil seal on the planetary to take care of the oil leakings. Again the process is this very simple, it's the same for the H600 and the L800 models on hover mixers. So I'm gonna proceed to clean up this planetary. Okay guys, this planetary is ready to be assembled. New O-ring is there. This cover is already with gasket maker. Surfaces that will use casting maker have been fully cleaned up with acetone so to get a better grip on the casket maker. Now I know there is more technicians or people that will have an opinion of how to do it. I just want to say guys that this is the way I do it, if it helps, um, this is how I do it, this is my way of doing it, um, I assemble first the top, 
then I'll go to the bottom and continue the process again this is my way of assembling this parts kind of hard to record <laughs> and work at the same time but a little bit of passion I will be done with the screwdriver and some people will say well it, it has a new o-ring why would you put gas the maker well just to double to make sure this is a second layer that will make your job much reliable and less chance you have of having an oil leak. So I always do this. This is the way I do it. Now we go to the bottom to assemble the 6207 bearing again this is the way I do it I'm going to be using my aftermarket This planetary will get eventually fully clean up. All of this will get clean up and we'll paint it. But for now it is just to show you how to assemble this. Again it's hard to record. Even uh, edge. Next, we'll assemble the chap. And this is the easiest way for me to put it. We'll get it in there. Then, Put it on the floor and then I'll just jack it in. I apologize for this bad quality, but I'm on the Our new key. That's it. Put the orange uh, the snap ring. And with this we'll be finalizing this video. Um, we need our cup. This, even though it's new, you might think that it's you're just gonna fit it on, but I have found out that they come with oily, greasy, uh, 
greasy areas so I always clean it with acetone before assembly uh, my gasket maker was around this edge also then assemble get a hammer and get it really good in there and that's it so I'm not gonna show you the final part but this is how you do it don't forget to put the snap ring in there the cap the gasket maker around the whole page that's how I do it and then finalize my job so I hope this video is of any help to you if you found it helpful don't forget to give us a thumbs up for we'll making more videos about how to service planetary on MAO2 B1401 but for now we just did a LA100 which is H600 the same planetary same bearing same same bearings same gears same process so have a wonderful day a wonderful day if you like this video share it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for more videos about how to service all our equipment your friend Jose says goodbye have a nice day